Facebook page. Casey, what have you got for us for our CPD for this week? I have a OSINT tool. So this is one of, I know we're not allowed to say favourites and I know we're not allowed to say that we rely on things, but the more tools you have that can pick up different pieces on the internet, the better. So, And this is one of my favourites mainly because it is free. (laughs) The more free tools you have, the better. And this one is called Spiderfoot. And if you have a play around with this, it looks complicated to begin with, um, but there's so much that you can do. So you sign up to Spiderfoot. You can either run, it, download it and run it in your Linux system. If you have a VM up and running, that's very technical for some people. You don't have to worry. You can just chuck in, oh, this keeps moving on me. You can just chuck in your email address. So just sign up with your email address. They'll send you a code and um, off you go. So what this does is that you can go in there and you can put in a domain name or a host name, an email address, any IP addresses, subnets, networks, phone numbers, usernames, Bitcoin addresses, human names, you can put that in there and then you can run a scan and it will scan the internet for little bits and pieces that it finds in regards to whatever you put in there. So I will show you just what it looks like. So on the right here, for those who are more technical, if you do put some API keys in, you will get better search results. But I ran a search result today um, on a well-known cryptocurrency scam site. I thought I'd just show you. It's only just finished scanning. The scan took ages because it found quite a bit. Sometimes the scans are quite quick. So if you, for example, are investigating um, a person and you know they have a website, you can put in their website and it'll pick off all the different little bits and pieces that it finds on the internet. And that usually doesn't take too long when you run a name. But if you've got a well-known scammer that you're looking at, they've been around for a while most likely they're pretty good at what they do by now so I thought I would share my screen when I figure out I've only been away for a week and I've forgotten how to do these things (laughs) share my entire screen now so this is spiderfoot and so I've run this website and it's only just finished scanning and it has some correlations here which are fantastic so that that's usually really good data so there's one high one medium and four low and underneath you can see the data elements which is a whole bunch of different information so co-hosted websites there's 99 websites there Um, linked URLs, which are internal, raw data, HTTP headers, web content, Wikipedia page edits, physical addresses, which is always interesting. So we can jump in here. So these guys are are professional scammers. They've been around for a while. And as you can see, they've got an address here in Scottsdale, Arizona, Sydney, Australia, Jefferson City in the United States, just a whole bunch of places where they've been targeting people. Um, We've got more United States. And these guys are actually operating um, out of China. So these are just, they're very good at hiding their information and they use a website to obfuscate their information. Um, But these are all really interesting things. So you can see which different places that they're actually hitting. So in Australia, like they say they have an office in Australia with the Australian scam. They say that they're Australian. They say it's an Australian um, cryptocurrency trading platform and that's how they get you. It's very, very sophisticated, very complicated and really interesting. So if you go over here, you can see cookies. Um, SSL certificates, IP addresses. There is a heap of information here. You can see that there are over 993 total data elements, 609 unique data elements and the errors. So in the high correlation, 
which gives us, you can just click on this and it gives us information on um, our publicly accessible PBX list. And some things might mean some things to you, others might not, but this is quite a complicated <laughs> example with a lot of data. But when you are doing, sorry, I'll just remove that screen so it's not doing that anymore. But when you go through that data, you will have, if you just run a name, for example, or someone's um, website, that the different things that come up is really interesting. So you might get a business that you didn't know that they had registered with ASIC. You, you might find um, other websites that they have registered. You and even ones that they have like side projects, like if they're into gambling or racehorses, maybe they've started up a blog or another little side business about it. There's a heap of information that you can get from Spiderfoot. And don't ever be afraid of these tools. I am not overly technical, um, but I have the curiosity and I have the motivation to learn and get better and hone my skills as an investigator. So don't be afraid to give it a try. Go in, put your email address in um, and just have a click around. Just see what means anything to you, like an address or a, another email and things like that. So it's a really handy tool to give you those extra pivot points and that extra information that you're looking for because it scrapes a lot from the internet. It's very, very good when it comes to open source intelligence.